One of Xavier University's freshman seminar classes has partnered with artist Jackie Sumail to do a community service project. This project was inspired by the life and legacy of a man named Herman Wallace who wrongfully spent 41 years in solitary confinement here in the state of Louisiana. Herman Wallace was wrongfully incarcerated by the state of Louisiana for allegedly murdering a correctional officer while he was serving a sentence for armed robbery. Um, when we put them in, in prisons and incarcerated them, um, does it really help society? Does it really help them? You know, And so selfishly, um, we have to pay for people that we incarcerate. The garden is a representation of solitary confinement. This is the byproduct of sugarcane which students are mixing with lime to use to create the bed for the solitary confinement garden. Jackie Sumel started this project after the death of Herman Wallace in 2013. This connects students to mass incarceration because the solitary gardens, um, they are exactly the size of uh, a solitary confinement um, prison box. Um, so students are able to see exactly the space that prisons, prisoners are kept in. Um, it gives them a more realistic view of like, or it helps like their imagination uh, to kind of see how these people are being kept in inhumane conditions. The wooden post represents the jail cell bars. I think hope. I, I think sometimes when we look at incarceration and mechanisms of torture, cruel and unusual punishment like solitary confinement, people feel hopeless. Inmates write letters of what they want in their gardens and what it means to them. Having been locked up so long, I often drift over the wires with my thoughts to visit better days. Summers are times we plant our own watermelon and cantaloupe from the seeds from the fruit itself. It was a sense of accomplishment and a sweet treat. All the best, Dennis. I am Kimani Hamilton reporting from Xavier's Art Village.